I think we solved this question. Uh, on examination, Barak has grossly placed low left E. Let me use my innovation tool. Three are not palpable. Uh, OPG showed that upper three are in the sector three with an alpha angle of 20 degree. What is your initial recommendation? Yes, sir. I think the correct option is Mark. If it's infectious and pain, then we should go for the extraction and give a space maintainer. See, on examination, Barak has grossly cased low left E, lower, lower right D, lower right E that are associated with infection and pain, right? Barak upper three are not palpable. OPT show that upper three are in sector three with an alpha angle of 20 degree. I hardly have seen cases at eight years uh, where they, uh, where like what the canine is like what in such a sector because the canine is at eight years very small and very high at that time, right? Close to the root of the lateral incisors. So if someone want to do interceptive, then he also has to extract teeth in the anterior region. But I think no extraction in the anterior region is given. That is just for the sake of uh, filling the lines. Restore load E's and D's and E's and place SS hall crowns. See, if they are not grossly cased, you can also restore them. It depends on the uh, when the permanent teeth are coming. Like for the E's, they are coming at the age of 12 years. So it's a four years space maintenance you have to give. So it's a root developmental stage that matters. So I think the picture will tell a better story, right? But I can give the crowns. I can like what is show this teeth if possible. Like, but even if you have uh, now read the trauma guidelines, they said that every effort should be given to maintain the primary dentition till the optimum age, right? And if their teeth are grossly carious, they're giving the metal crowns to them. especially the uh, steel crowns. Yes, anyone on this? Sir, so I'm for the option C. Sir, teeth are grossly carious and has pain and infection, so why we are going to restore them? I mean, we have to extract them and then place a space then, I think. So it can be C or A. I told you it's depending mm -hmm. on the nature of caries that how can we get a, a stable tooth structure for the crowns, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, in our country, they are not placing crown. There's no pediatric dentistry, right? Yes. But wherever the pediatric dentistry is established, they are giving the metal crowns to the children. Okay. I think Dr. Junaid does a lot of private practice. He can give a better insight on this. Yes, he's also with the option he A. Said a uh, I think uh, we will uh, we will not expect C's as the patient is eight, eight years and uh, the option A is right. We will try to restore uh, the teeth. And for SS crowns, we don't need something like post and core. So yes. retention in SS crown is not a, a big issue. I told you that they are seeing grossly carious. I said that it depends that sometimes only the videos, the roots are remaining there, right? There's no structure. So x-ray or something like that, because there's an x-ray. And if it's grossly carious, like what in, up to the cemento enamel junction, something like that below the gums, it's extraction, right? If we can place a crown and restore it for the another four years, like what for the bees, uh, especially the E's, that would be great. Okay, he's confused. We, I'm not going for power. You know that how to calculate power. I think I already on. Okay, I start from here. Again, a power.
I think that was a question because there are two aspects in this question previously discussed. One is recommencing. One is embarking on, right? That is totally different. So if the orthodontic treatment is going on, it's a 12 or 24 months pause period, right? If it's a crown root fracture without purple involvement. And if it's before orthodontic treatment, then the rest period is different. I think three months. Anyone can help okay. me what is the rest period if it's a crown root fracture, non-complicated. But I think whenever the roots are involved, there is always a pulpal involvement. I think that question is not right because whenever yeah. there is root involvement, there is a pulpal involvement. It's not yes. possible that roots are uh, without pulpal involvement. Yes, yes. Doctor also shared this from a paper that whenever there is a root involved, there is a pulp. You know, it's always complicated. Okay, previously discussed, also you can see the video. Sir, regarding the crown root fracture, yes, even in the guidelines, there are uh, things that not involving the pulp and involving the pulp. It is in the trauma guidelines as well. Yes. Should I write him that subscribe the channel? Sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. I said that rest you can see the video. <laughs> Because I cannot type everything. You are shown an OPG of an eight to nine years patient with a supernumerary teeth missing. So what we decided for this one? Sir, option it... two. Option yes. B. It's in profit chapter uh, six. So, not cost. No, not chapter six. I think in the old chapter, chapter six is diagnosis. In chapter two, I think growth in growth chapter. Previously, yes, they were in the triages in the chapter uh, six. So, no, it's not in chapter six. It's now because in previously chapter... in chapter six in triages. Sir, I don't know about previous edition. Yes, because when but, the priorities uh, were mentioned, it was with the priorities. Sir, in the sixth edition, I think this is in chapter two, the growth one. Yes, it is in chapter two, growth it's chapter. Okay, obese 40 years old who take. Metformin is seen at the end of morning clinic after it takes metformin. All local anesthesia in a spine position, the patient complains of feeling unwell. She is pale and sweating and confused. No pulse was detected. She has been given oxygen and maintained in the spine with, with a no improvement in condition. What is the most appropriate drug to administer next? I think the best option would be to call your husband to take you from the clinic. <laughs> he will also not because call. something bad is going to happen. <laughs> option A might be as patient is not conscious and uh, he's pale, sweaty, confused, happened. right? And no, no pulse, pulse was detectable. It is yes, sir. I, I and, don't know. And from the confused, but he's confused, but his pulse is also not there. Pulse was yes. detectable. Pulse is detectable. No pulse was detected. Yes. No pulse was detected. Yes. So the patient is sitting confused with no pulse. <laughs> she was given oxygen and maintained in a spine position with no improvement in condition. Sir, is it a hypoglycemic condition? If it's a hypoglycemic condition, then we can go for uh, IEM no. and glucagon. 
Sir, regarding that crown root fracture, the pause period is three months in the trauma gui guidelines. Yes, that's I'm saying that crown root fracture, it's three months. So it depends on how you solve this question. Because in the question, they have mentioned both things. Like what, without orthodontic treatment and uh, re continuing, re uh, like what, if I go back. Recommencing. Recommencing means that you are uh, in the middle of orthodontic treatment. Both have different guidelines. So that's why there's issues in the question. Okay, sir. So there should be a picture and there yes, should the be patient more with in... a moderate crowding. He has a fracture dis discolored upper right central incisor due to trauma. What would be the correct order of care alignment? Uh, the picture would be better because we have seen two different pictures for this one. The incisor is totally black, right? Yes. Unlike it is mildly discolored, right? So ideally the bleaching um, should be done before the fillings, right? Or the... Uh, like what the composite, feel, yes, the composite feeling. So endodontic treatment, bleaching, composite, then alignment. Then alignment. Yes, if there's a pathology, you need to do the endodontic treatment, right? That is a key. You cannot leave the endodontic treatment till end. Like, but you cannot align and do the endodontic treatment later on. I don't know what it means by endodontic treatment because for me, if it's during orthodontic treatment or it caves there, then you put a non-setting calcium monoxide, mm -hmm. right? Or you can do a definite root canal and then wait for some time and then start the braces. If it's in the middle, then you do the endodontic treatment with a non-setting calcium monoxide, bleaching, composite, and then alignment. Okay. Uh, sir, if it's a concern about the aesthetics, then we should uh, go the alignment at the end. This is your point, right? See, if it's a pathology there, I will do the endo first. Sir, got that. Right. So when I do the endo first, then I will do the bleaching of the endo, right? Might be I do an internal bleaching too, right? If I'm going to do endo. So that's what you need anything to do. Because I think some teeth are black due to this internal. So some people also do the, inter after making an apical seal, they'd also do the internal bleaching. Yes, sir. Sir, I'm just wanted to differentiate between the, the, the two kind of a questions that if it's a static concern, the tooth is very much black, then we should uh, keep the alignment at the end. If the tooth is not very much discolored, then should we keep the alignment at the first stage? Yes, and then do a definite, uh, like what bleaching in a definite veneer at the end. Okay, sir. So it depends, but like what the case seems that there is endo. See, he said that with moderate crowning, he is a fractured discolored upper right central incisor due to trauma. Right? Fractured, discolored. So it means there would be a rest period. There would be some endodontic treatment, right? Yes. yes so there would be a rest period. And if I'm going for an endodontic treatment, I will do the bleaching and the composite. I don't know like what, what is a fracture because then I have to build it up. No, yes, sir. So might be D. Yes. It's the same question, osteoblast. Okay, we find three options. Yes, we think he. A 10 year old presented with a premature loss of lower left knee and space loss of 3 millimeter. It is advisable. Regaining space. Yes, yes space. we solved this previously.
what is the union treat left side bilateral half molar unit bilateral base anterior cross bite for anterior you can do the unilateral expansion but that is not molar width because you have to expand the anterior arm for the posterior it's basically the molar width do you get my point yes sir yes Anyone, if they have any other thought for this one, because that's what I believe. Because for the interior, it's the for the posterior expansion, it's a molar width. For the interior arm, um, I do not think it's a molar width. We are ready to solve this. See, she went on age of two. She um, went underwent radiotherapy, right? Okay. A yes. Because you have to solve this question according to the uh, calcification. 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 So the third molar is not present at that time, right? Uh, these, like with radiotherapies, they do not cause bone ankylosis, right? They cause, they might cause a missing tooth, but they do not cause bone ankylosis. So they can cause hypoplasia, a smaller structure, a missing tooth, any anomaly, right? But Submergence means like with us, uh, ankylosis that is not present. So, arrested root development of the first molar that can be option. Infraocrean again, the same thing, right? So, hypoplastic enamel on the occlusal surface first molar. So, A and C are close options. So, which one you selected? So, A, sir, in some we selected <laughs> that the most common uh, complication with these kind of radiotherapy is the arrested root uh, development. Yes, because yes. I think that a, a crown surface of the first molar is formed by the age of two years. Yes, sir. So someone shared the table too. So the first molar, yes. uh, tooth calcification crown completed at pt Let me see. It start from twentieth month. That is two years and completed at seven years, right? Sir, it's first molar, not premolar. Sorry, sir. Thirty-two weeks in utero, so four and a half year is completed, right? Yes, sir. So I think the roots are not formed by that time. Yes, sir. Option A. I think we should go for the option A then. Yes. Yes, sir. Here it's fourth edition, my favorite. You will also find that, like with the calcification age, uh, do not change, right? Even if it's the sixth edition. This location, MRI. MRI. Yes. Yes, Dr. Farana, you are the expert. Sir, let me read it. No, this is a different question. Is it incident report? We should go for the incident Yes, first, report. like what you go for the IG policy, you report it through the DPO, yes. right? Uh, you call the IG policy, like what some information is tapped, even in the hard copy, right? If it is related to the NHS, then eventually, like what uh, you have to report it to the police. So I don't know, call your dental indemnities defect society for advice. I think in the other ones, so I think it would be the C. Yes, sir, I think so. 
because you have to first tell it to the hospital, right? Or the management system, because every clinic has a management system for the report, theft of this data, right? If it's online, offline, you have to first go for it. Then obviously, like when she taken it by force, you have to call, report it to the police. you are treating with upper removal appliance came after seven days from taking the appliance with extensive gingival sensitive area with swollen leaves what is the most first line of treatment it came after seven days yes sir it's e e it's e e remove the blinds refer for acrylic allergy test he also came after seven days from taking the appliance with sensitive okay yes e Just two more minutes. A 16 years old Down syndrome and 10 fixed supply. She has a high saliva rate. We already discussed one light cured glass and more cement. So eventually, Fran wishes are completed. He said that it's written light cured. It should be mentioned. Fran, the light cure um, GIC is basically the resin modified GIC because the resin component is there. Okay, sir. Sixteen years patient, latex allergy. What is the most important? Make the safe delivery of treatment. Ensure adrenaline is available. Ensure medically qualified staff. Option C. Yes, 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 yes. Clinical cases in orthodontics, then they have mentioned C before A. Sorry. So if you mention cases in orthodontics, then they mention option C that the staff should be trained. Then A. So I think C is more appropriate than yes, A. Yes, they say that first the staff should be trained to manage emergency, right? Yes, sir. Then the emergency equipment should be there. Yes, sir. There is a confusion regarding uh, a question. Yes. The last question. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, sir, on the prep auto website, there was a question that uh, the patient had uh, brackets rebounded 30 minutes after yes. the appointment. And in the options, there were aplasmatic enamel, and another option was uh, not adequate mixing of the resin modified GIC. Yes. So, sir, if resin modified GIC was light load, how will the mixing? Uh, be a concern for us if it is not a, a two-paste system it is a light code system why would the mixing be important yes the composite is light cured but the SAP is not light cured okay sir. have you ever used SAP? Uh, no sir yeah. the cell fetching primer you take it like what and you brush it over the tooth surface and after a uh, few seconds like it's mentioned different for the different manufacturers. So after like what, uh, 10 seconds, right? Some people say three seconds anyway. So it different for different manufacturer. You put a ear spray on it, right? Yes. So if the mixing is not proper or the, like what you haven't uh, went for this, like what all the procedure, because it's a, it's moisture insensitive. And in the meanwhile, it's also technique sensitive. And uh, someone shared it on the other group. I also uh, sent it to Dr. Rani. Even in this group, it was shared. They gave an other option from a given MSQ that when it comes to, um, uh, like, what if no adhesive is left on the tooth, right? If it's an adhesive tooth failure, then the most important factor is the saliva contamination followed by the other factors. Yes. So just keep in mind that uh, for the saliva contamination too, in those questions. Thank you. Okay, the 11 years report difficulty in breathing through, a no through the nose, in addition to narrow high voltage palate and open bite, the closest features uh, you most likely to find in the or most likely to find on the intraoral evaluation are posterior cross bite, I think we decided. 
Yes, sir, because the narrow yeah. high board palette is there also, so it should be posterior cross white. B. Okay, uh, 15 years old with reverse overjet, mild class 3 pattern. He has a moderate upper arch crowding, mild lower arch crowding. He can achieve an HUA relation in size of average inclination. His father has a moderate class 3 and a reverse overjet of 4 million. Patients think he's still growing. What is the most appropriate plan for the management of this child? We previously solved this question. And uh, yes, sir, for we me, went for these growth charts. Let me see. Take height measurements and arrange to review in one year. Yes, we can. We went for this growth charts, right? Yes, sir. For the group members, okay, I'll tell it at the end. I'll do this last question. It's again slow expansion. And they have given very close option. One pound, one point five pounds, two pounds. Frankly, in the exam, this do not happen. It's insane. Near, nearest yes. option. The E is the closest option. Because in handbook, they have mentioned 350 gram, right? Sir, in Bristol, they have mentioned something. Less. Dr. Rabisha, what was there in the Bristol notice? And three? in the gram for uh, quarterly and handbook, it is mentioned 450 grams. So 300 gram is the closest option, A. Yes, yes. Okay, I think I solved all the questions. I will leave the other ones. The 17 attempt for orthogonal for said, my presented complaints are carried out pre-surgical. What is the most appropriate surgery to address? Drop the eyes we discussed previously. It's a LIFO2 osteotomy and bilateral sexual septic to osteotomy. Mm -hmm. Even in this group, we discuss this. It's a screenshot of a screenshot. We just discuss it right now. Failure to educate will mix self edge primer. Okay, I will leave. Top share. The self etching primer coming in two tubes, or how I haven't used it's that. Single, it's in a single tube. And have to it's uh, just like a primer tube. You simply have to apply with the brush. Then where we are mixing that.